What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you two new armor sets I've come across in Elden Ring that have high poise, high physical damage negation. And the first one here, this, no I have not discovered how to make beer in Elden Ring. This is actually the Lionel's armor set. Uh, not the best looking uh, suit, but funny looking. I mean I like the big belly, you know, especially with the small dagger. Now the next one is the Crucible armor set. Uh, this one is a pretty cool looking one in my opinion. Uh, love the helmet and the uh, bronze coloring. So first what I'm going to do is throw, compare the Crucible against the Banished Knight armor. And I'm just going to throw the sets on so you can see the overall effect. Uh, you're looking at about 75 poise on the Banished versus 77 on the Crucible. Now you can mix and match uh, these armor sets to get your poise to 79. Because not all four of the Crucible are going to be better than the Banished Knight. Now next I'm going to throw up the uh, Banished against the uh, Lionels. Now the Lionel, you're going to need a lot of endurance. This is a very heavy uh, set of armor. Uh, it's going to take your, uh, fr your poise from 75 to 105. Actually with all of my endurance I had to throw on a, uh, a uh, carrying capacity uh, talisman to be able to stay at the uh, medium load requirement. So the first armor set we're going to locate is the Lionels armor set. And if you're like me, you're going to start here at the East Capital Rampart. This is in the Lendell Capital City uh, up north. And you're going to make your way to this Avenue Balcony, Grace Point. And then finally over to the Lower Capital Church. And this will be right where the armor set is located, right by the Grace that you will unlock. And what I'm going to do, I've already got the set. So I'm going to go back and just run through, run past all the enemies, and show you how to exactly get there if you're just trying to get this armor set and not actually fight anything. So what I'll do is I'll stop talking and I will pick up whenever we get to the Crucible set. The uh, next one is the Crucible. Now this one is going to be a boss fight. This is going to be at the Aruza Heroes Grave, again in the uh, Lindell Capital area. And this one's sort of hard to get to, especially the first time. It may take you a few tries. Uh, you're going to have to uh, dodge some chariot looking dudes with some big old blades. But anyways, starting at the Lost Grace, you're going to head down here to your right and you're going to want to hug the wall and look for spots to uh, hide from this thing coming here uh, this thing depending on how much armor you got and health uh, it can one shot kill you so you're just going to have to kind of play around with the timing come here between these two columns because you have another chariot right there wait for it to turn and start sprinting 
And these little hiding spots, some of them will have skeletons, so just beware. Um, so once you get past that, head down here on the next little hiding spot. Wait for it to turn around here. Now, I don't even know if you can kill these things or not. I have actually not even tried, believe it or not. So right here, you're going to drop in this little stairwell, little area here. Wait for it to turn around again. And sprint. And keep sprinting, 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 because this thing will keep coming at you. I know it gets me at some point. There it is. <laughs> And there's the skeletons. So if you uh, didn't have enough health, uh, that would have killed you right there. So next spot to hide is this column set right here. And this will be the last little chariot bladed thing that you have to wait on. Go over here, another little hiding spot. And then now you're coming into the room. Now there's not a lost grace right here, but there are one of the little statues that you can spawn back at if you die in this boss fight. And believe me, I died a lot. Uh, the uh, loss, if you if you don't uh, spawn back, decide to come back later, you'll have to complete that uh, little, get past the little bladed chariot things. So here I'm coming up on the boss fight and I'll just let this play out if you're interested. In addition to dropping a complete set of crucible armor, uh, you'll also get a sword, uh, I can't remember the exact name, uh, it wasn't exactly useful for my build, but anyways, I uh, believe it was a strength uh, scale, but that should show up at the end. So anyways, I used my Mimic tier. It was at plus five, plus six, and it actually wasn't as strong as it probably should be. So if you're rocking like a plus ten and get to this point, then you should have no problem. So anyways, that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, drop me some love. Maybe that sub. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys next time.